Yesterday, I went to Laughlin for the first time ever. I submitted my art to the, what is it called? Las Vegas, no, Clark County Library District. I think that's what, something like that. The library system for Las Vegas and Clark County. And they invited me to show my paintings in the Laughlin City Library. They're down there right now. So yesterday I went and drove down there to see what they looked like. I delivered my paintings to the library here in Las Vegas and then they took the paintings, took them down there, and they set it up themselves. Uh, which I wasn't expecting. I thought I was gonna need to dry them down there myself hang them up myself, uh, but I didn't have to. Wasn't expecting that, it was a, you know, a nice little bonus. And they did a fantastic job, it looks phenomenal. The library itself is really cool. I was down there looking at my paintings, just kind of taking the experience of having my art in a gallery. And these ladies came in and, you know, they were talking, looking at the art, and I come to find out that they were like members of Relay for Life in Laughlin or well I think Relay for Life is nationwide and I think they were like the representatives for the Laughlin uh bull, bull what are the cities down there? There's Laughlin, I think Kingman, Bullhead City. There's different cities down there. I think they're like the uh the people in charge of that area. So anyway, they were presenting a plaque to one of their donors talking to one of the ladies, Kathleen, and she, uh, I, she found, I told her that, you know, I was the artist, and so that was kind of cool, and they had someone from the newspaper there. It was kind of a fun experience to see some people looking at my art and be able to talk with them. And after the library, I decided to go see the, uh, touristy, par tur touristy part, that's a hard word to say touristy part of Laughlin. So I went down to the river on Casino Drive, because that's where all the casinos are. And it was kind of like walking into an alternate dimension where Las Vegas was located next to a river, because they have some of the same hotels here as they do in Laughlin. They have uh, Tropicana, they have Harrah's, and it was just kind of cool to see them in a different setting. It, it was cool, it was fun. Oh, I just spit. Uh, what was also interesting is that uh, Laughlin is a, is almost two hours away from me. It was, I think the my phone said it was an hour and 40 some odd minutes. It did not feel that long when I was driving to or from. It felt like 30 minutes. We passed through some interesting towns on the way there. One of them is this place called Cal Navari, which is like an abbreviation of California, Nevada, and Arizona put together. And it's basically a glorified um, mobile home park. I kid you not. It's it's mostly comprised of mobile homes and this restaurant, which I thought was interesting. And then there's this other city called Searchlight. And the speed limit before and after Searchlight is like 75 miles per hour. But going through Searchlight, it's like 25 miles per hour. So you're going super fast and all of a sudden you have to vroom, like almost stop while you're passing through this little uh, old mining town. It was really a trip, a lot of fun. Oh, and there's another place on the freeway where like, I'm not sure who adopted this segment of the freeway, but someone had taken this portion of the freeway and they put these dedicatory signs along it. And the first one said like, this segment of the highway is dedicated to the veterans of World War I. And then it was to the veterans, there was another sign to the veterans of World War II. Then the Cold War, then Korean War, Vietnam War, Persian Gulf War. And then I think it was the Global War on Terror. So they had all these different signs dedicated to the veterans for these different conflicts. So anyway, they had these things, the, these signs. And I, I don't know why I thought that was interesting, but I did. So that was my day yesterday. It was a lot of fun. Um, it was a long day, but it was really cool. I At the end of these videos, I'm always trying to think, is there anything else I want to say? I have food in the microwave and it's beeping at me right now. So I'm just going to end this video and go have my dinner. It's almost midnight and, you know, going to have dinner. So.